the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement, which suited me just fine. We do. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. As you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. The eggheads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me, and I made sure they knew it. All computers are still working. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. That's good. Checking through the... I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Hopefully it's all just... Fine. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of, uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh... I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Pod C6, down the hall near the end. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long.
Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Alright, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. It's okay. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the Coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. It's all over, but the dreaming. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Hi, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Okay, I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? 
The next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? You were along for the ride, weren't you? You saw what I saw. Yes, but it's important we review everything together, in case either of us missed anything. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. W Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. -E so be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. <laughs> By the way, I unpack Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Hey. Yes? Hey, hon. I love that face. Your thoughts? Hey, hon. Are you okay? That must have been terrible. Nothing else for now. Well, I'm here. <clears throat> yeah? Your thoughts? Keep leading and I'll follow you. That was a deal, right? Didn't have anything else. Time at me. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. What did you say? You, um, you feeling all right, Nick? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. for every situation. Hunting, protection, cold-blooded murder, hot-blooded murder. Let's see what you have. Murder and mayhem at a discount.
That's some serious protection.
You look as good as the day we met. Up. I'm ready. I'll be on the lookout. Don't worry. Anything else you want to talk about? 